This is a hostage situation. We're all gonna do this. It's not gonna be time. It's at the command to fight. I want you to draw and give me one shot anywhere you can, here, here, or here. Just hit the silhouette, all right? You got two rights, two lefts, whatever. We'll swap around, you know? This is a situation where you're gonna wanna take what you can get, all right? This is a child, this what, is- are you a... holding the baby up in front of him? Yeah. <coughs> It's a bold statement, you know, but basically just, you know, go for the shoulder. If you're brave enough, go for the head. You know what to do. Just don't hit the black part. It's kind of like an IDPA thing. Most IDPA targets have this. It's not a big deal. Whether or not you'd make that shot in real life is totally irrelevant. But what it does is with a sense of urgency, you either need to put around, and usually the best place to do this is in the shoulder. Y'all ready? Does everybody understand? Shoot ready? Fight! I hit him. Terry went for the headshot. JR went for the headshot. Oliver went for the headshot. Jonathan killed the baby. He killed the black baby. He killed the baby. You racist. Don't put that on Facebook. I'm not going to put it on Facebook. This is why we're doing this. Okay, you never know. Someday you may have to take that shot. You understand? <laughs> All right. Once again. Fight! Line's cold. You just pierced your little girl's ear. Good shot, JR. Shot, Oliver. Good shot. Let's do this again. Take your time. Fast as you can. Fast as you can. But don't go so fast that you hit the black area. Shooters ready? ready. Fight! Damn it, man. I just aced the kid. Okay. Slow down. Think about your shot and where you're going to try it. Were you aiming for here? All right. Go for the shoulder next time. By the way, most right-handed shooters, when we miss, we tend to miss left. So you can always take it right. Yeah, we're down the line. Shooters ready! Ready! Fight! What kind of chicken shit is that? What? Shoot him in the belly. <laughs> it's a bitch got my daughter. I won't even pain for a little while before I torture his ass. <laughs> you should be shooting him here. <laughs> uh, okay. Hold on just a second. We've all done this three times, correct? Yes, we have. Four times, actually. Four times, actually. All right, we'll do it two more times, some singles. Wow, Terry and Jonathan made you get out the extra special block pacers. The actual, oh, I stole these from work. <laughs> Whatever. Did I actually get part of that block, seriously? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's right there. Yeah. Uh, it would have killed her. It wouldn't have killed her. You to live. All right, we're gonna do this two more times. Okay, these last two, these last two times. Tell you what, everybody, if you're on a left-handed target, switch to the right-handed target. All 
I want you guys to aim for the shoulder. I want you to get it in the plus two area or right in here. I would say put your sights on where this line intersects right here. Shoulder, arm, collarbone, whatever. She was ready? ready. Bye! JR, that was an excellent shot. Thank you. Terry, that was an excellent shot. Johnny, that was an excellent shot. Oliver, that was an excellent shot. Let's do this again. Shooters ready? Ready. ready. Fight! Yeah. I gave you a nice clean Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan. Nice clean target, Jonathan. So you hit up here though and you missed totally. Yeah. Correct? Alright, at least you didn't kill the baby. Yeah. Alright, now give me two. I don't care where it goes, put two in the belly. Whatever. Remember, this is somebody you love. According to Biggers. This is somebody you love. This is somebody that wants to hurt somebody you love. I want you to give them two shots. I don't care if it's in the belly. I don't care if it's in the shoulder. You know, what Biggers always said was, take what you can get. Take what you can get. What, what you can get effectively and what you can get effectively quickly. Does everybody understand? Yes. Shooters ready? Ready. Fight! One more time with the double tap. Shooters ready? Ready. Fight! Ah. Whoever's not scanning is going to get start charging with the uh, procedural errors. I want that muzzle up in the air. Do a full 360 degree scan when you're done, please. All right, this is going to be the last one. I want each of you to put one into the head of the hostage taker person, whatever. So you're going here, you're going here, you're going here, and you're going here. It's a headshot. Take your time. One shot. One shot. It's a headshot. Take your time and make it. Now, the reason I'm saying it's only one time, I wouldn't try a, head a double tap on a headshot with someone holding a hostage. Just get them once, get them to drop that hostage. And then of course, you could, you, could, you could figure things out at that point. So one shot to the head. Please take your time and please make your shot. Please remember that that black area is somebody that you love. Shooters ready? ready. Fight! Stand, stand. All right, that's it. Boy, you're pushing your luck, son, but... Uh, no, no. Oh, yeah, this was my shot. I know, but anyway. <laughs> that's a little close. That's a little close, Terry. Good job. Good job. That's a hair close. There's nothing wrong with a belly shot or a leg shot here. Everybody's done a good job. Now... What have we learned from this particular exercise? Johnny's a racist. Johnny's a racist. <laughs> he kills black babies. Number one, don't take the shot unless you're 100% sure you can make it. Don't take the shot unless you're 100% sure you can make it. Take your time as fast as you can. Hopefully you've already got a gun out, you know, but if you got a draw, I don't know. Like I said, the headshot in the hostage situation is a bold statement and it takes training and that's why we're doing it now. So that's the end of this exercise. Please go recharge your magazines. Rehydrate, please. Yes.